Okay, Indy, what book are we going to read tonight, huh? Let's see what we got. Hmm. This book's been read by a lot of people. Maybe too many people. Yeah, you're right. Cheap. What about this one? Hmm. I've never heard of this. I don't think anybody's read this book before. Yeah, you're right. It's a lot of pressure to be the first one to read a book. Nah, not for me. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, this book explains metaphors. Too often, sex positivity is exclusively associated with promiscuity and fetishism, when in reality, it's perfectly possible to be both sex positive and abstinent. Choosing to not have sex is just as important to a person's sexual health and well being as having it when they want to. So then, why is there a divide between sex positivity and abstinence? We're still thinking of it as either or, when we actually have a multitude of choices. Sex positive feminism largely aims to dismantle the archetype that sex makes you immoral, unclean, or undeserving of respect. It also aims to protect those people who don't want to have sex from negative associations like prude, frigid, and bitch. When it comes to abstinence, or abstinence before marriage, the majority of people who choose it are women. People make the choice not to have sex for religious or moral beliefs, fear of pregnancy, fear of STDs, or to maintain a favorable reputation, among other reasons. But abstinence doesn't have to be a choice you make because you think sex is bad. Sex is like pizza. Even when it's bad, you still eat it. We already recognize that an abstinence-only curricula is absent of education. States with abstinence-only educations have the highest rates of teen pregnancies. Even President Obama eradicated abstinence-only until marriage funding from his 2017 fiscal budget proposal. And that is not an attack on abstinence. Teaching someone about sex doesn't force their hand down there or anyone else's pants. The sex positivity movement doesn't intend to leave anybody out. At its core, sex positivity is about making informed choices, be it to have sex with one partner, multiple partners, or none. So there's a seat at the table for everybody, even if you choose to abstain from the meal. Though if you're looking for recommendations, I try the combo platter. <laughs>